Hey everyone, we're back, and it works. It works. Ha ha ha! Take that, witch. <laughs> so yes, we have conquered the build of the witch farm, thanks to a nice gentleman named Rocket Spire. If I've got his name wrong, I will be sure to put an annotation, like I said earlier in the episode. So I will be taking care of that. Since we have a hard time saying goodbye, especially with the glory of the witches dying repeatedly, we're just going to go ahead and I'll show you the last thing I'm doing for now and explain where my next plans will be. And then we will be done with this episode. I'm sorry that I didn't show how it's built. I really am. But we have to do what we have to do and yeah. Because I was watching a tutorial on how to do the new one. With the new redstone, the new setup, I didn't have time. So either I will, I'll throw like the video, the link to the, his video, how to do it in case one of you guys want to. Or otherwise, you know, you can follow step B, I suppose, and uh, if you guys really want, I can just do it myself. This is for them just running for a couple minutes. I think it's really nice. Really nice results. Got all the chests down here for now is my temporary storage. Don't mind these two chests, they're just holding all my random stuff that I was using to build the witch farm. I've yet to move them because, well, this is where the last next segment, I suppose, I'm going to show you. I guess we're going to have to skip that part. Maybe. Maybe I might be evil and make you watch me climb a tunnel. Yeah. Okay, I hear. Oh, hi! Okay, so it's not perfect yet. Mostly because they're spawning up on my roof. And they're spawning over right to my over here. And I noticed once in a blue moon, a witch somehow spawns on a half slab for whatever reason and it just kind of derps around in the water veil. Which I actually want to show you guys. Well, I can't tonight. Um, it'd be too dark if I do. But I'll save that for the next episode. So on episode seven, um, I'm gonna do a lot of the off-camera, get this place built, and then we're gonna look at building an automated potion farm, and then maybe go hunt some blazes in the Neva because there's a blaze farm right underneath my portal little natural blaze spawner so maybe we might start working on the idea of converting that into a farm for us. What do you guys think? Sounds good to you? Everyone always needs more blazes in their life. What was that saying B double O says? Oh yes, hell's blazes. So you probably, I'll never I'll probably like get so much hate mail for that. I hope I just hope no B dubs fan comes along and like <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love every one of your subs. You're, you, you're all cool. You all are very cool with my derpiness. But I'm going to go ahead and finish things up, do a lot of the off-camera work, get this place cleaned up, and um, I'm going to clean up all that half-slab field that I was making as well. I had a half-slab field that I was building over there. You guys can probably see that line of gray. Yeah, that thing is like massive. <laughs> so I got that to clean up. But yeah, me and uh, the unknown named horse will be chilling here. And I need to really start building maybe some roads for this horse as well so we can start having some fun and riding around and going on an adventure. What do you think? Let me make you like a Wild West place for you and go find some buddies. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, guys, you have a great day, and take it easy. Hey, everyone. We're back. Sorry for the confusing episode, but um, there's been a few issues. When I've, I had the video done on Sunday night, 
and I watched it Monday morning and uh, went through and just <laughs> I went through all its little rigmarole and uh, unfortunately when I was going through that uh, I'll go ahead and switch into F5 okay um, when I was going through all that it's like the audio on the first half of the video when I was recording I had the microphone a little further set back and the audio you couldn't hear me at all and then when I did the second take when I finally was saying yo hey the witch farm is done it just didn't work it was like loud and everything so it's like I figure I'm gonna keep that half and that's the introduction so I severely apologize but uh, some progress has been made so far on the witch farm here Let's see I cannot wait I gotta run through my world and then I'm gonna switch to how do I it's video minimal okay awesome I, I need to get to the snapshot and so that way I can actually you know turn off Weber sounds because those are really are annoying or at least turn them down to the, a minimal where they won't bother me but uh, family's out for the second so I figured I'd record an update and I'm sorry if this is like two days behind so this is gonna be an incredibly short episode but I have plans for the next one guaranteed we're going to get I need to go hunt for some uh, never wart and I need to hunt for some blaze rods and I need to get some stuff done so I'm gonna be doing some enchanting so I'm just gonna grind after I get some building done more off-camera work <clears throat> and uh, yeah we'll get this done so hopefully I can get that to you guys before this coming weekend because I've got still a couple days of off-camera work to go as you can imagine before I can even get this done so do 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 I'm sorry for just the lack of everything really I'm just really out of it okay get that up there there we go I like that I, I like the look of my house so far I still gotta tear out the old house so I did start making some progress on that start transferring materials over to build this one of the projects I want to get going here and the reason why I want a witch farm was two major things one was TNT <laughs> you know TNT is everyone's best friend especially when you have a uh, diabolical use for it one of those being I'm planning on uh, tearing up a mountain area and then reformatting it, making it somewhat like a facade to create. Oh God, what's the wording that I like to use? I want I want to start working on that uh, spiral mountain build here in the shortcomings. Yeah, it'll work. Okay. So this needs to be actually torn here, and this needs to go up. Oh, come on, place a block. So yeah, uh, so there's so much to do. Hope you guys can actually see around here. Uh, just in case, let me do this. Since I have infant glowstone, I'll just throw some random chunks for some lights so you guys can see what I'm doing. Which rates are extremely great. Um, I already started converting all the redstone and I've got multiple stacks of redstone blocks. I won't have to worry about not having redstone for redstone wiring and machines. So that's good. And then from there we will be able to get a lot more done. Well, 
One thing I would like to work on, I'm just, I've got to really play with this microphone because there's episodes where I talk too quiet, episodes that I talk too loud. And a gentleman that I started watching, his name's Tango Tech. He talks about how he's using a blue Yeti, a, a, a blue ball from, uh, well, it's not a blue Yeti. Blue ball, it's a cheaper version of a mic. It's like the introductory class from blue. And it's still very professional grade, just like mine. Just different company, better company really, but I like my mic very much. Yeah, that, that worked out great with the redstone there. Or, yeah, redstone. No, glowstone. I don't... You know, I kind of like the grander entrance here. Because this is going to lead off to my next project. In here, I want to build a, uh, a potion machine. Like I said in the last clip. And then I want to create over here a Neverwart farm. Just a small one. Just to fuel the two types of potions I'm going to be producing. I want to start creating tons of weakness potions and tons of speed potions. Because between each land, you know, each place I go to, and in the Never as well, when I kind of, I'm going to create a hub for myself. I want to create little dispenser machines that will just, you know, splash you with a speed potion. So you can just go off and run and I'm not going to be installing any uh, crazed other items. Why is this small? Well, I, you know what, I don't mind that. Hang on one second, guys. Alright, we're back. We're going to tap. I said we're going to test something. You work. I'm going to f I think I'm going to fill the rest of this episode, and I'm sorry if anyone starts getting bored here. But I want to, I'm want i going to kind of fiddle with building the house with you guys. So At least it's a good way to pass the moment. Oh, I'm going to turn you that way. Okay. And yep, that's what I thought. Uh, I guess they can break those. Put you down. Get some light. I like that. It's a little more detailed than this side. It's got more of an angle, but I enjoy that. We also, I want to hear you guys' suggestions. I want to know what kind of biome should I build my storage in? I was thinking of building the thing for my adventure map, which I've only people on the Ferrocraft kind of know about, which is the project I'm working on in there. I'm building basically a replica but using a different block type of something that's called the Bastion, which I guess you know, hey, now you guys know. But uh, the Bastion is going to be one simple premise. It's what's the wording I want to use? Uh, it's going to be a biome. It's going to be a changed biome look. It's going to be con it's a converted biome essentially. Whatever biome we pick, no matter what it is, it's going to have a different look entire when I'm done. I'm going to switch everything out into a never rack look, so it'll look like it's the actual never. And eventually, because of the gas, the new portal sizes and such, I want to capture some gas to bring them through and engage them, and I want to get some things done, and I'm going to build the bastion in my single player world out of quartz. So, because the one that I'm doing in Ferrocraft is made out of sandstone, and I, not that I don't like it, I really enjoyed the project. I think it was quite entertaining the time I put into it. I need to move you. But uh, yeah, it'll be quite 
nicer looking with quartz than it would with everything else, but it does, it does, hmm, well, a few of you might be royally confused if everything's ending here. Well, aha, uh -huh. okay, I had to stop myself, I had, I just, you know, stop! <laughs> I was going through my recording, getting everything done, got all the everything set up, and well, everything was crap. <laughs> everything was crap. So out with the old, in with the new, lesson learned, mistakes were finished, done, I understand that, live and learn, and we're going to move forward. I'm showing all this off real quick, got fences through here, got all this done, started the piece here for the extended for that potion farm, which I'm going to start recording right after the end of this video and bring you guys with. I brought these from a jungle, I went off exploring back to my jungle where I spawned in because I placed markers for an iron trench. More stuff to do. A lot of off-camera work. But that will be at the end. So this is the ending of the episode. I had to give a proper one because the one that I had did not work. It just didn't work. It didn't work! So, we will see you in the next episode. I'm sorry for this real derpy rebirth, but as you know, that's kind of how I am. So, I'm back. Lesson learned. Stop going away, even when a computer's dead. Seriously. Piss off. Right? That's what you need to do. You need to tell me. Just like, hey, get your ass in gear. So, uh, video coming out in between these episodes. Make sure to look forward to War Thunder. I am going for the clips after this video, and I'm going to be safe getting any kill feed I had, assistant feed or anything, as I was playing with my buddies from Knights of the Crimson Throne, I think it is. I hope so. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, uh, Quirks will be on my comment section sitting there smashing me in the head going, It's this! It's this! So, yes. Uh, thing about it, though, there won't be any audio commentary or any of the actual like, gameplay sound. It's just going to be music. My buddy Iron DeRonan presented me with a great opportunity to use one of his songs for free. Ah, cross-promotion. Ah, cross-promotion. He's actually a really great artist. So, prepare for that video, and then I will be working on episode 7. Like I said, I need to go get some blaze, for, blaze rods, get some things done, get, you know, little minor pieces. We're going to build this brewing station, get this going. I found out about a stronghold on accident uh, a while back that I've tried keeping hush-hush, but I can't help it. So yes, a lot to do. Lots to do. So everyone, have a good day. And I'll see you very soon.